Hello, my pockets here, back again playing some more EVE Online. Taking a look at the second piece of the hunt. Going to be running the hunt sites, uh, outposts, whatever they're called, we'll find them in a second. Uh, I haven't done one yet, but I wanted to start afresh. Uh, just going through my thought process on the fit and everything, I have decided I'm going to try a Punisher. Um, I had an extra hull laying around, a blank one here, and I want to try it in a frigate. It's supposed to be low skill. Uh, friendly, so we'll see what happens. Uh, so I'm going to fit up this Punisher. I'm going to try and fit it with what I have. We may have to run to market and pick up a few pieces, but let's get started. So, blank Punisher. And the Purity of the Throne skin, because I don't have the Cold Iron, and those are the two that you use. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, let's start with the guns. Now, so a few things just from what I've learned about the sites. There's two rooms. The first room has four waves, probably to various things and then you go through the use your keys that we got in the first episode which we can talk about to go through into the second room where you fight the boss who does a lot of damage so we want to do damage I don't know what ranges we're looking at and exactly what sort of now it's Grista so I'm gonna assume mostly kinetic kinetic with a little bit of thermal probably mostly kinetic we'll have to look once we're in there we'll see if we start having trouble uh, so we're gonna fit mostly for kinetic maybe a little bit of thermal uh, Punisher is pretty pretty good tank as it is and it has five low slots which is very helpful when we're tanking uh as of note after about was it the 15th when the new patch is coming out we may have to completely change this because they're changing resist hardeners and stuff but for now this is what we've got so if you're watching this after about the 15th of april at, or whatever 20 2020 whatever it is uh just know that some of the resist if you're not getting the same numbers i'm getting that's why because ccp is changing those all right but let's take a look so i don't know what kind of range we're going to be operating in so i'm thinking i'd like to work in with beams to start just to give us some some options so let's go ahead and see what i have for beams i did strip my everything but the rigs off of my abyssal punisher as well so that's what some of this stuff is uh, I could probably strip some off of this if I need to. So we'll see what I have on Callisto as well. I kind of want to try not to spend any ISK uh, as little as I can. I'm going to have to buy rigs either way, but that's okay. So we do have dual light beam lasers. So we can start with that. Those aren't the big ones, though. Small focused pulse. Yeah, we don't want to go... Well, let's put the pulses on. Uh, they're T2s. These are the bigger ones, right? Because the dual is the one down. If we look in here, we can see that in here. Turrets, energy, small beams. Yeah, we want the focused. The dual is one sort of tick down on the power scale. So we'll start with the focused pulse lasers. They're out to 11, but if we... See, this is what I was thinking. Charges. We use... So Conflag gets us under 6, and Scorch puts us over 14 that may not be enough I'm thinking we want to hit out to 20 if we can what does like uh, Imperial Navy radio get us 16 yeah so we're gonna want to go beams to start uh, just so we make sure we have some ranges covered so let's use the duels that I have we probably want to up these to focused oh, what are these small focused I do have non t2 ones which meta group is these? These are meta threes. So they're not really, they're not meta fours, so I don't know if it would be worth it. Uh, let's see what this gets with Imperial Navy multi frequency 10 kilometers, 97 DPS, and then radio, 26 kilometers at 40. Okay. So let's put these meta ones on here and see. With how bad, how much worse they are. Looks like more DPS and more range because of the focused portion. And if we're not going to use T2 ammo, which we really should, but let's keep it down. Let's use these meta ones. So that'll be fine. Again, this will be nice too because it'll be lower skill point requirement for, for new bros. So we'll use these meta ones. We'll worry about ammo after. We're probably going to carry multi frequency, standard, and radio. I think I have a little bit of each. I think I have faction as well, so that's nice. Uh, we want to move. Now, I know for E-War, it's going to be web, scram, jams, and newts especially. I know those four for sure. So we're going to want to hit, a, put in a battery. 
So let's see what I have for small batteries. I think I have a T2 small battery. I do. I don't have any like faction smalls on hand. I do have one meta one. Let's put the T2 in for now. We'll see how fitting looks. We may have to put a fitting rig in. And one mega newton. We could use the T2. But we're going to want to probably watch our capacitor because we are going to get nuded. So let's go with the monoprop for now because it has a capacitor to use bonus. Doesn't use as much capacitor. Uh, what else? So that's the mids. Let's go into our lows. Lows is where the tank is. I definitely want at least two heat sinks. So two heat sinks. These probably came off of the one. And Repper. Let's do, I have a small armor repper too. I have a couple of, I have three, four of them. I have all sorts of small armor repper twos. I have an X-type large and an X-type, C-type medium. Those aren't gonna do it. So let's put this one in. One repper should do it. And then for resist, we want kinetic. Now I wanna go passive. Again, I don't wanna get nuded out and have it turn off, oops, our tank. Although if we get nuded out, we're not gonna be able to shoot anyways. But let's take, I have? I have a dark blood kinetic, if, or dark blood energized kinetic. Uh, that red is hard to read on my screen for some reason. Let's pull this down. No, oh, it doesn't let me. I can turn off my turn up my opacity, or turn down my opacity, or turn up the opacity, make it more solid. So nine and eight. Uh, this one makes if we use the. Pass oh, that's a hardener. That's why. We don't want the hardener. Uh, I want passive. So I guess it's this energized one we're going to put in. I don't want these because that drain drains our capacitor. So we'll throw that one on. That gets us 69%. Maybe a damage control. Damage control 2. We can't put the assault damage control on it, any unfortunately. Uh, this means we don't fit. But it does bring us up to 74%. I don't have any meta damage controls either. Okay, so if we do that, and then we look at rigs. Modules, rigs. I don't think I have any small rigs on hand. Uh, I do have gun rigs. I don't have any tanking or fitting rigs. I don't think we're going to use the guns. I think we're going to want to up the tank a little bit. So we're probably going to want to try to use armor rigs. But let's look at engineering first. Let's see if we can get a CPU unit. Doesn't quite get us there. What about T2? No. So we drop maybe drop this down to a meta. don't have a meta we do have a meta let's try that so we're at eight percent right now doesn't really help still uses the same CPU right minus 30 with it yeah, oh it's minus 43 with this one. Oh, that's the thucker large we don't want that yeah so that doesn't actually help us we could go for a I don't know if a compact here is gonna help us uh, 15 isn't going to bring us down that much. So maybe we do go to the duels, because they all have less fitting. Let's take a look at that. Uh, high slots. Uh, I said high slots, right? Oh, I'm going to check mids. Let's just see. We put in these dual T2s. Now, going T2 might not help us any. 12. That's better. That is better, because then we can put one processor overclock. We don't need the T2, probably. So that does barely get us above the threshold, so that's nice. And we're going to get... I don't have ammo in here. So going to the duels, we could use Gleam and Aura as well. 28 kilometers at 83, and Gleam gives us all the DPS we could handle. So we could use the T2 ammo. Drone Navy multi-frequency is 140. 62. So we'll go with this. 
that gives us some options. We'll probably just use the meta ammo for now. I don't. We'll see if I have any small order and gleam around. I probably have some on uh, my my confessor. So we'll see what we have. Because I'm gonna, like I said, I want to try to go with what I have on stock. Now this we'll have to go get. The rest of this I know I have, so that's good. So it'll just be having to having to go get rigs, which is not a bad idea. Oops, wrong one again. I keep doing that. So we got that. Let's take a look at our tank now. And auxiliary nano pumps. Nanobot accelerators will affect our capacitor, and 24% is pretty good. We are going to be nuded. I want to kind of be try to be stable while under nude. I don't know how bad the new pressure is going to be. So we can always adjust if we find we're a little too cap stable. We can go up to a faster afterburner or an active rep re resist or something. Uh, but yeah, let's do auxiliary nano pumps for the two. We'll do T1s, keep the cost down. 16 million. Uh, a lot of that is going to be in the T2 guns is about 2 million, million, yeah, I don't, 16, so ammo is actually the more expensive piece of our uh, our deal here. And that's local price, so yeah, that's not so bad. So let's fit this up. So the fit is, uh, yes, I don't have rigs, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's because of the rig. Um, no, I don't have standard. Okay, that's fine. So there's our fit, except for the rigs. So we do have to get the rigs so we can turn these two guns on. So we have four times dual light beam laser twos. We have one small cap battery two, one, one mega newton mono propellant enduring afterburner. That is a mouthful. We have two times heat sink two. I don't know, I just by habit sandwiched the repper between the two. It didn't really matter because the rest of our mods are passive. One small armor repper too. And if one dark blood energized kinetic membrane, because I had it. And it's not really that expensive. Uh, we can look at the actual price, but it's not even that expensive. And it's a little bit better than the T2. And the damage control too. Gets our resist profile looking quite all right. Again, we're passive, so if we get into it, we'll still have a tank, although we won't be shooting anyway, so it just doesn't drain our capacitor. And running everything, we're at 14%, and then whatever ammo we, we fit in there, we'll adjust it. Actually, we, see what we, should, we should see what our capacitor is with multi-frequency. Uh, I have Gleam and Aura right here. Look at that. So Aura is 14%, Gleam, same. And then multi, because that is the one that uses the more capacitor. I have lots of multi frequency just laying around. Yeah, so that's all good. Wait, what? Oh, right, because of the rigs. Duh. Because I don't have the rigs. So that's fine. We should be okay like this. We should be okay like this. Yes, I know. So we will fly this over to Dodixie probably and pick up the rigs. What else? So for ammo, let's grab. We need four, so one, two, three. I'm gonna grab some of my used stuff. How bad? How badly used is this stuff? Uh, how many is that? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two sets. And then we want radio. Uh, smalls. Take eight of those as well. The nice thing about crystals is they don't take up a lot of room. One, one per, I think. Why is that at 19? 8? Oh, because 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll just drop these three off. There we go. Because those were uh, unused. And we want standard. Uh, 4 and 4. No, those are medium. Take these four. Stick them in there. And we'll take four of these. I do have them. And then Gleam. And Aura. Aura, Aura. Small. Four of those only. Okay. We'll just bring it all. That is not a problem. Uh, when we're out of the ship, I guess that's we can check how damaged they are easier. So we'll worry about that there. So all the different am ammo options that we could possibly want. Short range, medium range, long range, and then the two T2s. I think that's going to be good. So about 13 million. We'll see what it actually is because that's not the price. Let's uh, 
go get the rigs. So I will get to the Dixie, I'll get the rigs, and then we'll get to business. So I will be right back. All right, we are back and we're all fit. So time for one last double check of everything, make sure it's how we want it, and then we're gonna go hunting. Four times dual light beam laser twos. Uh, we stuck them up, we went down to the dual beams for fitting. Seems to have worked out, we'll see how the damage goes. One small cap battery two to kind of help against the nuding. I thought I did have is we may want to switch one of our armor rigs for the, the semiconductor rig to also help. We'll see how bad the nuding is. That is an option. One one mega newton mono propellant enduring afterburner also to help with cap. Two heat sink twos to help with some DPS. An armor repper, small armor repper two. A dark blood energized kinetic membrane. Could use a T2. Could go could up this up as well. This was nice and cheap and I had one on hand. And a damage control too. And then the rigs are two auxiliary nano pump ones and a processor overclocking unit. Uh, there's a chance I could probably train a skill. Like my rigging skill maybe? No, not my rigging skill. One of my skills may need to be trained. We'll see. Um, but it also just may be the battery. So anyway, that's the fitting. Let's take a look at the ammo. Uh, we have aura small times mm, one. Oh, because I just... The other ones got accidentally dropped into my friggin... Yeah, when I took them off, they got dropped. I'll get those. See? This is why we double check. Uh, ammo. No, not, not ammo. Just go to here. Go to here. There they are. So order smalls times four. Gleam smalls times four. Uh, blood radio? Do I not have just normal? I don't necessarily want to use the blood ones. I may sell those. Uh, that's all I really have, though, so we're going to go ahead and just use them. I don't have any, like, Imperial Navy radio, so that's fine. So we'll use those. Oh, these runs, these three are wrong. Imperial Navy antimatter mediums are not going to work for us, so let's go back in here. Uh, nope. Multi. No, antimatter is multi. Frequency, small. Those ones. So multi-frequency small times four plus two plus four backups. Imperial standard smalls four with four in reserve. Okay, ammo is good. Capacitor rigs are good. Fittings are good. Name is not good. So what do we call this ship? Let's see. I don't know. Uh, Valiant is my was my runner. Change name to sure. Did I spell that right? Swordbreaker. Let's do it seemed right. It's when I named one of my computers the other day, so good to go. Okay, let's see if we can find one of these sites. Now these ones, oh, hang on, I know what's missing. I wasn't quick enough on the don't undock button, so now we gotta dock back up. I didn't grab my keys. We need our keys, or else we can't run the sites. So let's do, Try to get it all done. Yeah, we gotta run our keys. If we don't have our keys, we can't run the sites, and that's gonna be silly and silly. So. Those are actually going to be on Echo, my Dramiel. So we probably don't actually need the Dramiel in high sec. Uh, it is fast, which is why I liked it, but we can probably do just fine, based on what I've seen using, the, using our running ship as it is. Uh, the one of the things we can do is bring like inertial, like uh, nano, wow, nano fiber structures and inertial stabilizers to increase our align time, so we can align better when we're searching for keys and maybe fit a web over the battery or the or probably over the battery. Um, so we could probably still just use this to hunt. I'm gonna probably just try as it is. Why aren't we undocking? I did click it. So for now, we're just gonna leave it, but. Um, so my understanding is they're not warping away in response to player activity. They're warping, they just warp around. So they'll move on occasion from where they are. And so webbing them is still important because if you land late, let's start with multi-frequency just to have it. Uh, let's see here. Four for the repper, three for the afterburner, okay. So nothing here, nothing here. Let's go see if we can't find ourselves a site. So yeah, the the pods, when you're doing the key hunts and you're searching for the eggs, like my previous video, my understanding now is that they're not warping in response to what we're doing. They have sort of an internal timer and they occasionally warp to different celestials within the system 
That's why sometimes you'll scan one down, you'll think you'll know where it is, and when you get there, it's gone. It's because it's moved. So you do want to web it in case you come in late in that timer, or scram it. So it does make sense to scram it, even though it, when I did the test, it didn't appear to actually leave. Apparently it's not in reaction to us showing up, it's kind of a reaction to just... In general, it's a, it does it moves around. So web it, or scramming it down is a good idea, just in case you come in and it warps away before you can kill it. Uh, if you can kill it instantly, probably doesn't matter as much, but there we have it. So that seems to be the way that works. And yes, I know I did fumble a bit in the beginning. I, did, I think I got fairly good at the scanning towards the end, uh, warping to the planet itself to save a jump. So once you've sort of narrowed it down, you warp to the planet and scan the moons from there. Also, make, I might add to this the pod itself, so if I'm using this to scan, when I warp there, it'll still show up. So that's something I might do. But right now, that's not what we're working on. We are looking for sites. So I'm going to just check some of my normal areas, see if we can't find a site. So we're fairly cap neutral. I mean, the only thing that really uses it, we can turn off the afterburner while we're under heavy web. So we're probably not going to run it the whole time, because there's no sense running it while we're webbed out. And we'll run the uh, the, the repper. So I want to see what we're actually looking like with just the repper running. We're at 20% stable, firing our multi-frequency, which gets us out to nine kilometers. So we're actually, I'm gonna, the nice thing is when we see it at range, the, for those who don't know, for newer players, energy weapons, the lasers, their ammo switching is instantaneous as long as it's not running. So like we're sitting here, I can, there's one right there. Right, I can right click, switch to standard, and it flashes over. Right, so there's no reload time. Let's go see if we can't do this site. So I'm gonna start with standard that gets us 17 kilometers. Or we can switch to multi-frequency or a gleam as we know. So right, higher range at the top, more DPS at the bottom. So if we need to go up in range, we'd go up to radio and then aura. If we need to, we can increase DPS, we go down this way. Uh, the only difference is here because we have two the used and the not used today. No, that's right. Right, here's the acceleration gate, number one. Do we get a spawn in? Or can we just activate the gate? So we have four keys, let's activate the gate and see what happens. Okay, we're going in. There was no key used for this gate, it looks like. So the first gate is open, it looks like. I thought there was a gate we had to use a key for. There's the gate right there. Oops, we're on the wrong, let's go here. So I'm just going to orbit this at 2,500, say. Bantam Caracal Condor. Condor's web and scram. And Newt, so the condors have to go. Uh, we're in close range, so let's multi-frequency it. Let's see how this goes. So we are heavily webbed, like we're not going fast at all. So I don't think the web is going to matter, so we're going to conserve it. Let's start repping now. Let's get rid of this guy. Can we lock up the Bantam? The Bantam's out far, and let's... So optimal seven, so these are getting hit pretty good. We can hit this Caracal out. Now this is a Repper, let's hit him first. Uh, the Bantam is their Lodgy. Let's turn the tank off for a minute, conserve some capacitor. So that first wave wasn't so bad. First wave, this tank, this guy might take a hot minute. Once we get through though, he... He scrams as well. So there's lots of scramming, so we're not going to be able to escape. We can speed tank the uh, the Caracal a little bit. It's shooting missiles, so getting our speed up will reduce. It's probably shooting missiles anyway. Let's get in and see. So you can see we got nice little colored Easter egg pods. Let's grab a screenshot like this. And we're going to take down the Caracal now. Are we going to bump? We definitely don't want to bump. What am I orbiting? I am orbiting the gate, but I'm afraid I'm going to bump off this rock structure here. Uh, we are taking a little bit of damage, so let's start repping. Because bumping is bad news. Uh, looks like we're okay. So we'll let that last cycle go. Why aren't we hitting? Because he went out of range. So we're going to switch to standards. Should get us out far enough. Here we go. It's because we're going too fast. That's okay, though. Because we are tanking. Okay, first wave down. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. 
Any loot? So are we done? Was this an already started site? I bet you there's somebody already in here. Let's try to activate this gate. Uh, inactive acceleration gate. Okay. Okay, there is a wave. Griffin Kestrel. That's going to be a jammer. We want him gone like toot sweet. We're going to switch up to Gleam. I'm going to take him out. Because we want to hit out to... Oh, he came in. Not Gleam. The other way. Aura. We want jams gone. And then Kestrels, Cormorants, Coraxes. Wow, okay. Rep on. Oh, we're still... We're not webbed. We should have kept our afterburner on. Uh, we are definitely getting nuded out here. Yeah, there's the jam landing. So it lo unlocks everything but him. So he has to be the first to die. And then we want... The... Newts are gone. So we can start taking out the DPS, which is going to be this guy. Destroyers do more DPS. Because they has more guns. I'm not worried about scrams and stuff. Uh, let's actually, we're close now, so let's switch this all the way down to Gleam. What's that bring us to? Six? No, six isn't good. I'm gonna go to multi frequency. See, this is the nice thing. We can at least switch ammo quickly. Let's get the Corax. Why, oh, why am I only four targets? Okay, one more after this cycle. We're gonna kind of maintain. Nice that there's no webs this time. What are we shooting out to? It's not far enough. We're going to switch up to standard. Oh, now he comes in close. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're going to go on standard. Again, we can switch as we see the ranges. We're just going too fast. Start repping. Not worried about the Kestrels as much as these guys. Let's go to... So, mul so Gleam is too short. Multi-frequency is too short. I think standard is where we're going to sort of sit for the stuff that hangs out further out. Can we shoot, please? Because that gets this optimal range out to about seven. Oh, it didn't change. Because I did it too soon. Although now we're in range, so let's use it. <laughs> Punch the mic. Sorry, guys. This is me thinking through the process. Obviously, I'm floundering a little bit. We don't need... We're over-repping. Watch it, dude. I wonder why we can only lock four targets. That's weird. Is that a me thing? Or is there something I'm not seeing? <laughs> Alright. And then these we can switch. Well, we're just going to keep it. And let's start killing these Kestrels. I uh, wonder if we can orbit this thing a little tighter. I want to keep my traversal up, so I picked a thing I can just orbit non-stop. Uh, so we're just going to sort of... We're good in capacitor, so I'm going to top up the up. I'm going to do two cycles just to kind of keep it at this end. So we're starting the next wave at a decent clip. Uh, these guys are staying close enough. What are their... Oh, i got to close some of this down. Come on. Keep shooting. Yeah, okay, this is good. Yeah, so they're not going... They're going... They're, they keep warp coming in closer as well. Oh, we're getting a, another wave. We didn't finish the previous wave yet. Uh-oh. Blackbird, you need to go. We're going to switch this up to Aura for the Blackbird. This is, that's a lot of extra range, but it also is pretty good DPS. So the Blackbird is a jammer, so he goes first. We are not being webbed, but we are being neutered by the Blackbird. So that's not so bad. Get the Ripper on here in a second. That looks good. Start running it now. Now the Condor should start. We're going to get rid of the Corax first. Because it's the higher DPS. Uh, no, the Condor. Condor has to go. Kester will be last. Can I please get you unchecked? And get the Condor selected. How are we doing? We're over-repping. We are now being webbed. But we're still doing 500, so it's still worth it. It's not heavy webbing this time. Probably should have gone to standard for a little more DPS, to be honest with you. We didn't get jammed out that time either, so that's good. We want this guy dead. No, this guy I said. Uh, Repper on. Imperial Navy uh, Gleam, you're in range. 
right? Yeah, between three and six, so. Uh, over repping, we'll turn it off after this cycle. And then the Corax, because it is the higher DPS, I believe. Show info. So their shield, so it is, oh. Looks like we want to be doing EM. Which is fine, because that's what we're doing. Um, their damage is also EM, though. See that? Are they all like that? EM. Yeah, so we want to be tanking EM. We're doing 100% EM damage. Are we over-repping? We are. So we're going to want to switch our re one resist hardener out to an EM hardener. We'll see what the other groups do. That is interesting. So we are using Gleam right now, because they're in tight. Anything under 6 kilometers, it's fine. This guy's kind of pulling out a little bit, so whoops. But how bad? No, that's good enough. So we're doing the right damage type, so that worked out. That was just by nature of lasers do EM damage. Let's just top this up for the next wave. Haha. -ha. Worm, eh? And Kestrels and Caracals. Okay. So let's get rid of this worm. I bet you any money he's going to be the nasty. Let's turn our afterburner back on. Get the repper started. We'll get rid of that worm now. He's outside. Is he outside? No, he just came inside. So this is working out well. Again, we could probably do it with the meta guns and the meta, meta ammo. Just fine, at least for this part. We get jammed? No. We just need to get rid of this worm because he's nuding us. Neuter first. But yeah, so far so good. We can get some sprint, print screens out here of all the colorfuls. Uh, let's get the rep. Well, we'll wait till we're about here. Let's get this Kestrel locked up. Uh, let's get... doesn't really matter now. I'll get the Caracal. Uh, we're going to switch to Aura. No, let's switch to Standard. Just because. Get the Caracal and then the two Kestrels. Why can't I lock the... He's outside of our range. Okay, get the Repper running. Okay, so so far not bad. This is working well. Now, this is wave like three. Kind of happened halfway through the other wave. We could probably do more DPS if we used... I'm just kind of trying all the different things. This seems to be going just fine. Um, blood is all EM damage. So that is also an option. Or the, sorry, radio. It, it does 100%. But their secondary damage, EM thermal is fine. So lasers is kind of the tool you want to be using. I should have checked that worm. I didn't think that was an actual Garista ship, whereas these are Garista's ships. Kaldari Garista ships. Uh, over repping, pay attention. Lock up the last Kestrel, shoot the. No, we don't need radio, let's undo that. Let's get into some multi frequency, sure. Uh, just because we can. We don't have to use the expensive T2 ammo. Although, arguably, it's not that expensive. Although. The Gleam, like the close range ammo, might pick up. This guy is way outside range. I'm just going to let him be out there because we're getting another Griffin. Condor is going to do the jamming. Then three DPS destroyers, eh? Why are those things outside of our range? That's fine. Uh, let's wait. Condor. Uh, he is trying to lock us from a far way off. We're going to have to shoot him with Gleam for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, let's overheat that for a couple cycles, because I was not paying attention. Just a couple, though. We need this griffin gone. Uh, not with these. Now, let's make sure we're not killing everything. No, we're good now. It's holding. We need to get some of these cormorants gone, because that's where all the damage is coming. Standard is the way to go? Yes. So we got the neuters gone. Uh, that was just because there was three destroyers and I didn't run my repper soon enough. We'll catch up now. I want to save some overheat for the last room because I have to imagine he's going to be a bit of a pain. Drop down to multi-frequency because they're in range. I guess they're not really in range. Let's see what that's doing. I should actually be running pelt so I can see what the difference is. No, we got to run standard for these guys. Could run aura, but... This is working. 
block up. Why? What? He's still hanging way out there. I am gonna check the loot as why. What? Where am I? Oh, I see what's happening. <laughs> I uh, accidentally double clicked something and I pulled myself off of the gate. So let's uh, head back. Not be a dummy. Set our default orbit to 2000 and orbit the gate at that. So these guys are chasing me, but the Kestrel wasn't. That's why he's way out, way, way out. Where is he gone? He's just hanging out way over there. We're over-repping. So it's not so bad. So far, so good, because I've been making a lot of mistakes, and we're still doing quite all right. Hopefully we're going to get in range of this Kestrel. He'll come over to the gate for us. We may have to chase him down, but we'll see. I think you have to kill everything. Let's start chasing him. Let's go get him. We'll go to Aura for maximum range to start. Uh, we can shoot out to 28 kilometers. So as soon as we can actually lock him, we should be able to get him. And we'll see if we get any more spawns. The gate activated. See that? So that means we should be good to go after I... But I'm going to kill this guy anyway. Over repping. Let my capacitor recharge. This would be a good time to have some nanite repair paste. Because I could repair while I'm closing gap on this guy. Okay, so first room is not so bad. Uh, we do have to watch because other people can come in and still take the room deck, technically. There we go. And we should be able to apply to him. Yeah. Good print screen. Some good screenshots there. Alright. So, let's see what we got for loot. standard in because that seems to be the way to go was that the not used stuff doesn't really matter actually so we're going to just check some loot while we have an open sort of field here nothing it's just me sciencing it up hope you guys don't mind my guess is the real loot is the last room the, the rats are worth nothing that's typically how these sites work. I'm hoping someone doesn't come in and take the last room on us, but it seems pretty quiet at the moment. And the people that are always in this site. Uh, nothing. Yeah, I'm going to assume nothing. Let's go to the gate. I'll do that off camera. I'll get an MTU next time or something. Okay, here we go. Into the next room. This is where I think we have to fight the boss. So... There he is, right here. Um, let's orbit him and see what happens. Um, afterburner on. Start shooting with standard. Repper on, holy! Yes, he hurts. Switch to gleam. Oh! Okay. Show info. Uh, he does different damage types. Okay. So we can't do 100%, but he does the other types. Now why am I not hitting him? I was shooting. I was shooting. Shoot. Come on. I was shooting. We're going to overheat the gun, too. Get as much damage in on him as we can. So we are webbed, nuded, and scrammed. Um, let's just see how... And overheat after this one and see how it holds because I don't want to kill it. We haven't done too bad because it's the only active module in the low slots. So that is helping with overheating. Okay, that's good. We got him. Oh, yeah. Overheat the tank. Got it. Got it. Got it. A reactive hardener. There we go. An assault frigate would be really good, I think. But there we go. So that's not so bad. So we did do it in our cheap little frigate. Uh, let's unoverheat this now that we don't need to. And now we have to fix, but... Loot all. Gecko blueprint. Cool. Geckos are back. Okay. So let's go repair. While we look at our loot. So there we go. I did take it down with this little cheap frigate. Obviously a little bit of fun with the overheating. Uh, that last guy does hit hard. We saw that the first room, everything seemed to do EM damage. Uh, which is actually, I think, our weakest. Uh, no, it's not our weakest. Explosive is our weakness. Weakest. So... 
But without this, the thermal really does a uh, takes a hit, or the kinetic. Might be able to replace this with uh, like an adaptive or a the other one that does all. Why can't <laughs> energized? You know the one. You know the one. Drawing a blank. I'm I'm thinking so hard. I'm drawing a blank on names of things. Uh, energized adaptive plating. That one. Maybe something like uh, I think I have an Imperial Navy one. Maybe a little more expensive. Sixty. Ugh. But it gives a 20% to everything instead of a single 48%. So it might. So we turn this off. It's going to give us 20% of 50 damage. So it would sort of spread this out a little bit. And since it's really just him, that might make sense. Maybe don't do kinetic. Maybe just do omni tanking. Might make, make sense. Might make sense. Everything's repairing. Let's take a look at our loot. We got a gecko blueprint. We're going to get those built. So this will mean the price of geckos are coming down. Ooh, a 15th tier, 21 mil. And the Exheva Sato. I think this is the missile one. I don't, if I recall correctly. Yeah, missile damage bonus, missile rate of fire bonus, drone damage bonus. This is the Garista's, Im uh, Garista's uh, yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Those are basically have Gila written, Rattlesnake written all over them. So rate of fire and damage bonus plus drone damage bonus, that's that's pretty awesome. So that is actually some good loot. And there are some implants. Now obviously going to the low sex sites are gonna get us more loot. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, so I'm gonna be running these. That was my pretty cheap. I mean, if I had to buy it all, it's, uh, that's including loot now. It was about 16 million at most. And really a lot of that was my ammo. Uh, you don't tend, doesn't seem you need to do the T2 ammo, but if you can do the T2 guns and ammo, uh, they work quite well. Uh, if you are a new bro and you don't have T2 tank fit, definitely train that up. But also, T2 guns isn't a huge train, and you can do an awful lot with frigates. Uh, as you saw, I didn't have to fit up an assault frigate or a fancy Kikimora or something. Uh, I might do that as well. I'm going to do some videos. I'll see what else I have laying around that we can use. Uh, gives me an excuse to buy a Kikimora, but they're super expensive right now, so I probably won't. Uh, maybe another Nurgle could work really well. Retribution with missiles might be alright. Um, seems we want to be doing EM damage. I forgot to check the tank on the final guy, but EM, the, the lasers seem to work just fine. Uh, and I'm thinking spreading the tank out. Uh, the first room seems to do 100% EM unless there's a different trigger. Again, it's the first sight, so it could be different. But there you have it. It can be done in a non-blingy fit ship. So. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll try to remember to link the fit in the description down below. In fact, I'll export it right after I say goodbye. Uh, leave your comments down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of these sites, what you think of the loot we got. And as always, we'll see you all next time. Take care, and I'm out of here.